Hey, hi friends, welcome back to Bob Automation Lab once again. This is the continued series of browser stack automation sessions. And uh, in previous two sessions, uh, two, three sessions, we have already learned how to in, uh, introduction part of browser stack, Selenium uh, run script on Selenium browser stack, uh, Selenium script on browser stack, also uh, learn how to uh, run uh, mobile browsers and how to open your website in mobile browsers like, browser, uh, like uh, Chrome in browser stack and uh, how to uh, inspect the mobile element in browser and all those things we have already uh, learned in previous two three lectures okay in this session this is a very important session because we are working with now uh, app automation okay and uh, we will deploy our build on browser stack cloud and uh, we'll try to uh, inspect that element or app uh, on cloud uh, browser stack cloud and uh, this is a little tricky thing while working with the uh, app automation in browser stack cloud because we require to deploy our build and uh, for the 30 days of time period and uh, we can get one access key uh, through that access key we uh, will work on that browser stack automation build okay to see this uh, things practically uh, and uh, watch this lecture very carefully because this is uh, very important for interviews perspective as well because if you are uh, mentioned that you are working with browser stack and then there are lots of questions related to this okay so just watch this uh, session carefully till the end and we will get the better idea how to run apm script to launch app in browser stack cloud okay and in the next session we will uh, also learn how to inspect mobile apps elements using apm inspector on in browser stack so let's start with uh, practical uh, sessions uh, so first of all what we have to do uh, so this is the curl command uh, to upload your apk file on browser stack cloud okay so uh, how it works and everything i will explain it practically here but first of all understand what is this curl command so this is the curl u command so where we require to define our username username mean, means uh, whatever username uh, we have on browser stack cloud we required to define it here like uh, for example we have a dummy account on browser stack cloud right so if i open browser stack cloud here uh, device and uh, just go to the browser dashboard okay so this is the practice purpose account where uh, we have get 100 minutes free right so uh, in this dashboard we have access key like here we have defined username we have just uh, created one demo username here from one user and this is the access key of uh, th that username okay so we require to pass that username here we require to pass that access key which is uh, provided here in this uh, after this colon here in the access key section and rest of all this session just remain same okay don't ch change anything here any space or any colon or any uh, Type and don't add uh, rate don't change anything just just type at at it is uh, it's showing in this command okay i'll give this command in the uh, description box as well okay you just copy from there and uh, just paste it in your cmd and your app, app will be get uploaded on browse stack cloud so here after either it we require to provide a path to your url to your apk file as we know, uh, for the testing demo purpose, we will have, I have already downloaded this API demo dot apk file. You can also download this from the official website of this uh, from GitHub account. So just type API demo apk download on Google, and you will redirect to this first uh, first URL. Just uh, click on that, and uh, here we can. Uh, download that apk through this download section just click on this download button and you can download that apk file just store it to, uh, to any location on your device as i have stored it in on my c drive okay and just copy uh, just uh, give that part of your c drive so so the path of my apk file is c colon so we require to give that path here so i'll just copy this command from here okay how to give that path so just go to here uh, okay and uh, how to pass this uh, access key and username just first of all go to the browser stack cloud copy that username from here okay just copy it and pass it here and username section okay after that just copy this access key from here and pass it to the access key section okay after that we require to pass our path uh, of your apk file right so my apk file is stored on c drive just i'll just copy that uh, path from here. If you are stored it on any other different drive, uh, you can uh, just set up this path accordingly. Okay. So 
uh, copy like this c drive and uh, the name of your apk file so i'll just go f functional f2 and i'll just copy that one and just paste it here okay so this our uh, curl command is ready whenever you hit this command in cmd that it will be uh, respond as with, with one result okay so this is a bs call stands for browser stack and this is the uh, browse stack app automation key which is written by uh, browse stack crowd okay so we require to pass this in desired capability guys so watch this uh, or lecture carefully to understand the process and also don't do any mistakes here just copy as it is okay if you this very case sensitive command if you do some little mistake it will not work so just copy this command as it is and go to the cmd okay and on your c drive just paste it here as it is this key and just hit enter whenever you hit enter it will take time first if you are written uh, if you are working with first time so wait for some time okay if you are uh, deploying build again and again so it will be little faster okay as per the your uh, like uh, apk size it's depend and your internet speed because this is only 3 mb file so it will deploy uh, very fast and the written key, the written result of this command is this one right so this is our app your just copy that one and store it somewhere in your uh, notepad or anywhere okay so i'm just going to store it here okay so this is our current app which is deployed app key which is deployed on browser stack okay very simple so we have this curl command we have set up your username and access key token and set up our apk path and this uh, this command it will hit through cmd and it will return us one result okay now what we have to do uh, just uh, go to the your eclipse okay i'll create a one class here new class okay apm app launch on browser stack okay. this is the my class name okay and now we are working with test ng only so i'll give I'll, we'll create a one uh, setup here public void setup public void setup as before test so i'll provide annotation like a before test okay, just import this one before test from test ng right before that just copy our uh, username uh, username app automate key and url from here as i have already explained in previous all lectures what is this username access key and all those things as if you don't know watch uh, all the previous sessions of browser stack okay so this is the uh, username this is a automated key and this is the hub url which is we required to uh, launch our app or any uh, to connect um, for any de particular device on browser stack we required to set up this url okay so we required to set up something like desired capabilities again so desired capabilities okay desired capability caps is equal to new desired capabilities Oh, oh. Desire capabilities and just caps dot require to set some capabilities like which uh, uh, device we want to launch. So set capabilities and capability names like uh, device name. Okay. okay. Types uh, very carefully as uh, I am typing like the same way because. Um, it's very, very case sensitive and your capability will not set properly if you do some mistakes here okay so google this is one is a uh, prior device uh, uh, prior license available set capability Okay, these all all are uh, optional capabilities, but we require to set uh, to see a uh, project process uh, properly in the browser stack. Okay, so project name will define like a project and name as API 
demo app api demo app automation this is our project name and let's say caps dot sit capability set capability and the capability name we require to set up like a build as well build okay let's say build 5.1 whatever you can set as per your convenient build version okay caps dot dot set capability okay and name as browser stack sample test whatever name well, as per your convenient you can do your name and now we require to set a main capability which is we have just like set cap dot uh, set capability and we require to set up app and here we require to set which uh, just get the key from that uh, command line okay we have get that command key uh, app key from browser stack curl command right so we require to set up we require to set up the this key as a as an app in browser stack okay so uh, app key in the browser stack desired capability so let's copy that key okay uh, from here okay from notepad and i'll just paste that in here okay after that we require to uh, connect to the browser stack cloud through the remote and product driver okay so here we require to set still time we are setting the remote web driver but uh, as working with the apm we require to set up android driver so i'll set up android driver android driver okay and let's set driver is equal to new android driver okay and in this android driver we require to pass url to connect a browser stack browser stack so new url is equal to uh, in bracket url which is we have set up and uh, just form a caps perfect okay all right just import this url from uh, java okay java url.net we don't want to see like this so i'll just copy from here and uh, just import import till just throw some declarations here add arguments url let's see string url in bracket url and just throw this declarations here and here here you go we have set up properly uh, to launch our uh, uh, api demo app in this particular device uh, on browser stack okay so what we have done till time these are capabilities we have set up you have set up this uh, username and uh, automate key and uh, we have set up here this uh, url to connect to with the browser stack cloud set up these are capabilities like device name os version project name uh, and build number and name of that project and app uh, key to connect to browser and we have set up this android driver to connect with this url and uh, we have assigned these capabilities to the, that to that server okay now uh, let's do one thing driver dot quit because uh, if you not re written this statement uh, the session will continue to execute and we have 100 made style tree so we'll just write a driver dot quit after the uh, after the launch our app in browser stack cloud okay so we we have set up properly okay everything is set up properly here so first of all i'll remove this before test from here and i'll just give the uh, command to test or see whether we are able to launch uh, our api demo app in browser stack cloud properly or not okay just i'll just run with this test engine 
XML. Okay, and let's see if any script is running here. Yes, one script is running. Let's replace this page. Okay, where 5.1 is running. Okay, what's your name? And here we go. Let's see. Okay, any build is running, right? Okay, session one. Browser stack sample test is running. Right, perfect. And okay, execution completed, zero failure, one run. Okay. Let's see the video where whether we are able to run properly, uh, launch API demo app in uh, browser stack cloud properly or not. Okay. It will take some time to load this video. Okay. And uh, this is the idea of your browser stack. And uh, this is the app name. Okay. And this is the bundle ID. Okay. So let's see the video. Whether we are able to launch successfully. Yes, we have successfully launched API demo app in browser stack cloud and uh, this particular Google Pixel device. Perfect. So that's it about how to connect with the browser stack cloud and how to launch our app in browser stack cloud. Okay, in the next video, this is a uh, very important. We will write one test. Okay, and uh, in that test, uh, we will see how to inspect the uh, more app elements in browser stack cloud. Okay, using API APM inspector. If you are working with the latest version, uh, let's see how to inspect the element and we we'll write some script to uh, to click on the element on this particular uh, API demo list. Okay. So let's meet in next chapter. Uh, till time, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.